Hello everyone, welcome back to Ins Electronics. So some of you might have remembered this radio because I made a separate dedicated video just explaining how I ended up buying three radios just because I wanted this particular radio. And you can watch that video in my uh, channel. I'm not going to explain the whole thing once again because I already made a dedicated video just for that. And recently when I was cleaning up, no cleaning up, I'm just moving around some things. This thing fell from my hand and obviously some things are now broken. You can see the I have already removed the screws and the screws are in here because this thing is broken literally. See if I open it right now you can see this is completely open and the damage you can see the damage the screw poles one of them in here is missing and another you can see the bits and pieces in here. See, they're all damaged and uh, they're missing from these points also so now I think this is the time that I started doing some works on this one because more things are piling up the more I have to be careful to keep everything organized otherwise this kind of tragedies will happen now this was very you know neat and tidy this particular unit it was well sealed but until I dropped it uh, everything was fine but now that it is dropped I have to quickly make some adjustments so that I can now make it working back again and start using it as normal unit so first things first let me just quickly show you the IC that's, that they are using this is the heart of the whole unit this is the one IC that receives the Bluetooth reception and probably the SD card and other uh, auxin and other supports also and the selection is all going through this thing the switch selection will be inside here this could be the fm antenna because you can see the fm line going from here to this capacitor through here and this is the ic number and if there is a data sheet available for all these chips you can definitely see that in the screen right now and this must be the audio amplifier because these two wires are going to the speaker there is a bridge rectifier in here because this is using a capacity drop of power supply for charging these kind of uh, this lithium not lithium this lead acid battery it's a very common circuit for charging these kind of lead acid batteries and on the other side there is nothing much to see because it's just a single sided board you can see there is no other components except few through hole components like the switches the USB connectors and things like that but the rest of the things are all in here this is a single side board basically so let's start measuring the battery and I already bought a replacement battery because this must be the battery uh, this must be the issue with the battery that this thing is not turning on and obviously we are not going to power it from the battery or through the external DC 6 volt jack because who is going to do all those when you have a rechargeable battery available so cheaply and this thing has no marking does not have any kind of ampere rating uh, because you know the voltage rating would be 4 volts it is common for these kind of batteries but the capacity can differ by the size you can see it's almost the same size so I think this one is also 1000 milliampere battery and there is no mention regarding the battery capacity anywhere in here and uh, uh, so we are going to make a replacement with this one and that is all it takes to make this thing working back again because there is nothing else wrong in this one the main issue was like this thing turns on things are falling apart now this thing turns on it just says hi and then it keeps on rebooting that was the main issue and at that time of uh, purchasing this thing I never went through the hassle of charging it through here or through the external battery we just tried plugging it the AC mains and it never worked uh, it just says hi and then restarts and it just keeps on doing that so we thought it's completely dead that's the reason why he ended up selling this thing and that's how I ended up getting this thing <laughs> so now let's start measuring some things let me just measure the battery voltage and I'm pretty sure that it's already dead and uh, if I connect them 0 0.01 volts I hope it's visible so now let's measure a proper fully charged battery it's a brand new battery and you can see it is showing 4.1 volts so let's replace it but before replacing it we need to make sure that this battery uh, is fully dead and for that we can now charge the battery directly using a DC power supply 
so I will be charging this battery for some time I, it is not necessary because this through this AC means it's charging just this battery it doesn't have enough power to turn on this whole thing so I tried keeping uh, this thing for charge like maybe for like one whole day or something still it didn't took any charge at all so um, I think it's just a waste of time we, the, we are going to try charging it this way but anyway let's just sort out all the possibilities and after that we will see what we can do alright so I've been keeping it for charging since the last one one and a half hours and you can see there is nothing in here that's going to take a charge because you can see the voltage is staying at 4.9 volts with 0 amps being drawn to it so that means this is completely dead the only option we now are left with is to replace it with a new battery and this is a 4 volt 1 amp hour battery and by the size of this thing I think this is also a 1 amp hour battery the size is almost same so I guess this is also a 1 amp hour battery so let's replace this one with this one and see how everything works and the other thing is like we can convert this thing to lithium based battery but as of now let me see how much runtime I get with this one and if I'm satisfied I will continue with this otherwise I will change it to a lithium battery that you will see in a different video if it's going to happen alright so let me make the arrangement for charging this thing and I shall come back after that alright so here I have now completed all the works I have, con I have connected the FM antenna wire which was broken last time and I soldered it right now you can see it right there and also I did super glued all those broken bits and pieces some in there and some of them in here and now let's try to turn it on so I'm going to close this thing and uh, I'm going to assume that the battery connection is the FM radio connection is still present so let's close this thing and you can see that it is showing Bluetooth so I'm not going to pair with it right now let's change the mode to FM and you can see you can hear the FM reception is trying to receive the FM station but uh, there is a lot of noise in here the LEDs are generating so much noise and also in my area the FM reception is really poor so because of all that I'm not going to receive the FM station this is the auxiliary mode this is the Bluetooth mode so that is it guys so if you can get these kind of radios for a very low price try to get a couple of them because at least you can interchange the spares from one to the other and make it working so if you can get some of these in your area for a very low prices just grab some of them and try to repair them and we can get some more life out of it anyway thank you for watching guys see you with another video